Hi guys, my name is Ferdi and in this video series I will talk about all the elements of Ultimate Add-ons. What is Ultimate Add-ons? There is an amazing page builder called Elementor that contains a lot of free elements. With Ultimate Add-ons you can add even more elements to Elementor that are more advanced and will add more functionality and flexibility. So with Ultimate Add-ons you can take your website project to the next level. Here are some examples of Ultimate Add-ons elements. You can get the ultimate add-ons through 30corp.com forward slash UAE. This is an affiliate link, so when you buy the add-on through this link, you don't pay more, but I get a commission. So thank you for that. Then you can click on buy now, scroll down, and then you can choose a package. You can pay with credit card or with PayPal. Then you can download ultimate add-ons, upload it to your website, activate it, and then you can use it within Elementor. Do you like what you see so far? Please like this video and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Now let's get started. In this video, we will take a look at the price box element. I go to ultimate add-ons over here. I click on edit with Elementor. I scroll down all the way and I close this and this and this. And then I go to price box. I can drag it over here, but I rather open a new area, new section with three columns and I drag it inside the middle one price box like that. And this is what you see. Update, preview the changes. It looks like this. Well, we can adjust it of course. So what will we do? First at content, we will change a few things. Here's the style. The first one is normal. The second one is features. Those features over here at the bottom. So the title, the price, selected, and then the features or circular background for price. So the title, the price, and then the features, and then the button. I like the features at the bottom. Then we have hover animation. When I hover over it, you see nothing. We can change it to float or to sync or wobble. I like float. Then I change the title of the heading and I call this ultimate add-ons. Then we go to the pricing and remember in this area content, we will only adjust the information. So not the styling yet. We will do that over here. So I go to the pricing and this is right now $49 and they offer discount because normally it will be 69. So from 69 for 49. We want to show dollars or you can show something else and I can let it be raised like this or I can say normal and I like normal. Is it per month, per year or is it one time? You can remove it and then it's gone and I say per year and the duration position can be below or beside. I like below. Then we go to the description free 30 day trial. I can remove that area like that. Then we go to content and that's a list of features. And I click on the first one and then we can change the text and I paste the text over here. Then I search for the check icon, this one, and I can overwrite the global settings. So I can change the color of the icon to green. We can change the text color and the background color. I leave it as it is. I close it and what I can do now, I can change this one or I can remove this one and this one and I can duplicate it. So I have the same style. I will do that a few times and then I will copy all the text. So here's the second one, the third one, the fourth one. And the fifth one. So this is how it looks. You see big gap, but we can remove that with the style. We can go to the call to action. Right now it's a button, select plan. I can change it to a text or have nothing. 
but I like to have a button. And I can say get started. I can have an icon, but I don't want that. And the link is this one. I can have a disclaimer text below. You will love this. Or 30 day money back guarantee, something like that. Then we go to the separator, this line over here, and I want it or I don't want it. Then the ribbon here on top, if we want to, I want one corner ribbon. And I say best value at the left or at the right. Or we can say circular ribbon or flag ribbon. I think I like this best value. Top distance. Mm, somewhere over here. Then we go to the style, the heading, the background color of the heading. I like it to be a little bit gray. And the title is H2 and the color of the text can be gray like that. And then we can change the typography, make it bigger, make it smaller. I think this is okay. Then we go to the pricing background color I want it to be white if I want to you know what I will leave it as this the padding if I say one it's all close to each other so I say 10 you know what 20 and then we can change all the colors the typography I can change the typography of the text so I say everything should be a real way also here a real way and the third one, the text below, also real way. And the only thing I don't like is this font. So I can change it or I can say go to content pricing and currency format will be raised. Or I say normal, I go to style, to pricing and typography. I say bring it back like that. That's what I like. Then we have the description, but I change nothing because if I change it, you don't see it because we do not use it. Then we have the content, this area over here and the layout is simple or a divider between the fields or a box layout or a stripped layout. I think a divider between all those things or a box layout. Mm, simple. We can change the box padding 10 or 30. Mm, five, that's okay. The icon spacing, and we can change all those colors here so we don't have to do it individually actually. And here at typography, I want to change the weight to 400 or not 300. Mm, that's maybe a little bit thin. That's okay. We can bring it to the left, to the right, or keep it in the center. Then we have the call to action, get started and the background color. I want it to be transparent so I can say black. So I see where it is. This is not what I want to change. So I leave that. I mean the button background color. So here's the button. We can change the typography. We can change the size, make it large. And the padding is okay. I can uncheck this and say on top, I want 20. The bottom I want 20 and at the left I want 40 or 50 and at the right I want 50 like that and I can increase it if I want to make it 60. Text color should be blue. The background color I want it to be transparent and then I want to have a border of two pixels like that and the border color is the same as the text so I like it we can change the border radius I like it as it is we can have a shadow and then we have the separator over here solid or dashed or whatever I like solid the thickness the width and then we have the ribbon and I can change the background color of the ribbon to something else and the padding and the text color the box shadow, maybe a small shadow. No, no shadow. 
So that's what we have. I don't like this header. So you know what? I make it black. And then the text a bit lighter. So that's what you can do. And then you can go back to content and say, you know what? I want it to be normal or circular like that. And then you can adjust it. I like featured at bottom like that. And then I can remove this. Click, click. I can duplicate it twice. I can update it. I can take a look. And then it looks like that. When you hover over it, it goes up like that. And if I click here, I go to the checkout. What else can we do? If I click on the element here, I can go to advanced border. I can have a border of two pixels, solid. Sorry, this is the radius, nothing, two pixels, and then the color black. Update. Like that. And of course, we can remove the best value of the other price boxes and change the price, change the title, and change all the information. So that's what you can do with the price box element. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a ton of stuff. Have a great day. Feel free to like this video, to subscribe for more upcoming videos, and then you will see me the next time. Bye bye.